When we talk about patient safety, we're looking at all the side effects and we want to manage the side effects and actually want to prevent the side effects so that patients are safe with their treatment. So it encompasses a huge aspect of, of cancer care. So with the safety in, in relation to chemotherapy induced nausea and vomiting is to try and prevent it. And then if we don't prevent it, to try and manage it better. There are many, many studies over the years and still we're getting studies to show that it hugely impacts patients' quality of life. And, and there are many risk factors associated with um, chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting, such as anxiety risk factors or young people or alcohol. So if you're used to drinking alcohol, you're less likely to get chemotherapy. So we know all these risk factors. So the important thing is to assess our patients. And if we assess our patients properly, then we can improve their quality of life. So we use quality of life measures in all our studies, but actually in practice, we, we need to be doing that as well. So we have many guidelines, far too many guidelines, and I think what we need to do is implement these guidelines. So only two weeks ago, um, we got international guidelines published. The ASCO did an update on their, their guidelines. MASC, multinational um, uh, support of care in cancer, um, have guidelines, ESMO, loads of guidelines, and what we really need to do, and this has been shown by the literature, if you follow the guidelines, you get better patient reported outcomes and it costs the, the hospital or the health service or the health economy much less money and it's much less burden for the patient which is the most important thing if we follow the guidelines. There are um, large unmet educational needs but I think the responsibility is within the team and of course within the nurses because we're kind of in frontline care and I think the responsibility is is bi-directional so I think the, the responsibility is with the nurse to learn as well as the they don't wait for information or, or or new updates but but we should make that easier available to them but but they have to go and find out as well so so both ways that we can help the nurses and the nurses uh, like me have to help ourselves as well.